What does it mean to be a senior here at AE? Um, to be a senior is to say that you made it all four years, most definitely, because a lot of people don't make it. A lot of people that I grew up with in middle school, by sophomore year, they left, they either had a baby or they just dropped out and they got tied into the streets. So to make it here and be here and make it to May 17th, that means a lot. That means you you was focused. I run the school. That's what it feels like. like. I'm not saying we can do whatever, but it feels like now it's time for the real world, really. It's time to start to grow up, all that. Get ready for college. And to be like a big sister to all my little sisters that's in dance company. So. Yeah. It's super important because I've been here through the struggle of freshman year and then <clears throat> just going through the grind of trying to be successful and get my grades up, and now as a senior, like you're almost done. You're right. at the finish line. Longest four years of my life. I know. It's, I know it's gonna be long, y'all, but trust me, it's gonna be long. But it's, it's gonna worth fly. it. It's worth it's it. It's gonna fly too because just we was just like in August, not too long ago, right. and now graduation is a month away, and we're not gonna be here. This is our exactly. last time. Crazy. Yeah. You may be a series to be a leader. Cause you know most people on the east side grow up in poverty, so it's like we gotta start like it's a way out of Austin East and East Knoxville, so we like that. And that role model. Yeah. Personally, to me, it means leadership. It means you're at the forefront. It also means endings and beginnings at the same time. You're you're coming to that age where uh, it, it's like the next step. So that sentence hits me, and it's like wow. <laughs> Last Again, it's very interesting because, you know, well, I mean, it's, seeing as how it's the last two weeks, you think, you know, you never, high school's never going to end and it's just terrible and it's like, oh, I'm in high school. But then you get here and it's like, wow, did I really waste all those years? And then you think, I mean, it's just weird. And like, you know, I haven't been in Austin East my full four years, but even just being in different high schools, this one's very different, but just being in a high school period is like, you just wish it was over and then it's over and then it's like, oh it's over. <laughs> like, you're about to go into the real world, and it's just, it's weird. It feels very much like a huge accomplishment. Like, I made it. I started out as a freshman, and I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what high school was going to be like, and I had all these classes that I had to take, and requirements, and randomness, and I was like, I don't know if I can make this. And I did. <laughs> and I'm a senior. Like, looking back, at all of the stuff that I've accomplished, at all of the classes that I've taken, and I'm like, wow, what I just did. So, yeah. You definitely gotta focus on yourself. If they're not around helping you, you really don't need them around. The rule number one, worry about yourself. If they're not putting money in your pocket, you don't need them, bro. Because this is gonna put money in your pocket. When you graduate and you get to go to college, that's gonna put money in your pocket. They're not putting money in your pocket. Honestly, they just don't wanna see your life better than us. That's how I see it. They're not helping you. And they really not your friends if they don't wanna see you making them. They get you tied into all that fighting and drama and stuff, like, let them go. That's not, that's not it, for real. That ain't where you want to be. It's not at all. <laughs> so, uh, cheering as a senior, like, how, because there's a lot of responsibility and a lot of leadership, so, like, how do you take that pressure of having to be a leader? 
former Captain Kenneth Spence. It's a, it's amazing. You gotta, I mean, people, it's people out there that look up to you. You don't even know that they look up to you. So you just gotta make sure you're doing the right thing at all times. Yeah. Especially in the community, like how, how do you plan on facing them once you leave? Well, I know I haven't cheered that long. Though, even though like I cheered two years, I got better at it and I got good. And so like my niece, when she, when I first became a cheerleader, she looked up to me. Now she wants to be a cheerleader. And now she's taking gymnastics and she wants to learn how to do flips and jumps and stuff like that. And when you go out to the community, even though you don't have your uniform on, they always say, "Oh, hey, cheerleader girl," mm -hmm. or "Hey, Austin East Road Runner girl." They it's always something. They always tie you into the school, even though you don't have nothing representing the school. You're not even in the school. And so like. When you go out there, you just have to be on your best behavior. Do your work, do what your teachers tell you. Get in anything you can get in. Extracurricular stuff, get in anything you can. Project grad, trio, it helps you a lot. Yes, I would probably say that to myself, exactly what she just said. And probably to um, learn how to keep my mouth closed. Because I did have a problem with that a lot. Like, if somebody come at me and I feel like they're coming at me wrong, is I'm already running off at the mouth. So I need to... I would have told myself, like, you need to calm down. Now everything everybody's saying to you is just trying to attack you. Because that's just how I feel. That's how it just is. So everybody not trying to attack y'all. If they're trying to give you advice, don't try to turn the advice into an argument. They're just trying to help you. And you're really not going to win against your teachers. Never. You're girl. not going to win. Don't, no, even, always don't win. even try it. You're not going to win. They'll write you up so fast. You can't even explain your cycle for it. You can't explain. When you first walked in, like, first day of your last year, of your senior year, what? How did that feel? Man, it felt like sort of surreal. It was like, golly, like, it's my last first day as being like a Austin East Road Runner and being in high school and being with all my friends that I didn't like grow up with for, for four years. And it was just like, wow, like I've actually, like I knew this day would come, but I didn't know how it would feel when this day came. So I mean, how, how important is it that education and you know football kind of go ahead and head? Oh, this is very important to me. Yeah. Like without um, football, but without your grades, you won't be able to play anywhere else because your grades come first. Student athlete, so um, that's always been important to me. Um, I used to come home from school, like before I came to high school, did my homework first, and then go to practice because I know like, you got to have the mindset of grades before. Um, your athletics because without the grades you won't go, right. you won't get in. So did you did you plan on like playing football, like when you came here? Yeah, like, not your year. You did. I did plan on playing football. That was really one of one of the main reasons why I came to Austin East to play football, and then to like it was just something I was good at. All right, so, uh, who pushed you like who pushed you the hardest to like get to where you are now as a as like a like a senior. As in, like, so, like, who on that first day, like, you walked in, how, how did you feel? Of my senior year? Yeah. Of my senior year. Uh, I kind of felt like it was, like, it was my show, my school, you know. It was uh, my time to, you know, shine, basically my year. I felt like it was, you know, my 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 last time, my last blueprint, basically, to leave my legacy. So that's kind of how I felt. So you got to build on top of whatever mm -hmm. you left behind? Yeah. Whatever I, well, what I did my freshman, sophomore, and junior year, I feel like I wanted to just, you know, keep on building on that my senior year. So, with you leaving the senior year, are you going to leave it open or are you going to cap it off? Uh, I definitely, I'm going to cap mine off. Uh, I'm going to do good, finish out this year, you know, kill prom, you know, go, go you know, show sauce, and then, you know, just kind of cap it off, going to West Point, and just start the new chapter. Yeah. Uh, and it, uh, it's obviously like a, a lot of pressure sometimes, especially when you have people that want to challenge you. So how do you how do you face challenges like that? Oh, it's definitely a challenge. You know, playing quarterback, playing quarterback anywhere is challenging. But playing quarterback at Austin East is definitely challenging. You know, you got critics and fan and the fans. You know, they gonna love you, they gonna hate you. You know, you got people that's coming for you on your team. They looking at you. It could be your fault. It may not be your fault, but everybody looking at you like, you know, Chris, what you gonna do? Because you're the quarterback, so we looking at you. So. It's, it's, you know, it's challenging, but you just got to, you know, you got to notice that's going to come with it. And my my mom, my granny, and my coaches, they always told me that's, how, that's what come with it. So I was already prepared. So yeah. I, I dealt with it pretty good. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, with that, like, being a senior, just knowing that people, a whole bunch of people look up to you, like, how, what does that feel like to you? Uh, I've been really having, you know, people looking up to me since I was a freshman. 
And now that it's just like kind of been like more people, just more people as I've grown up, it's just more people that's coming with it. So I know that I gotta set a good example for them because the freshmen, like the freshmen, me doing something good now, they'll be like, you know, I wanna be like Chris when I get a senior, when I be a senior and do something positive instead of being something negative. Yeah. So I know I gotta put it on for them. So, you know, just capping that off. Uh, so with that, um, being a leader, how important is being a leader to you? Oh, it's a, it's a big task. Like, I got a little sister, so it's like, I got to be a role model for her. And I got little brothers that look up to me, I got to be a role model for them. And then I like the little, I go ahead with the little football organizations. They look up to me because I play football. And then it's like, academics, they know I'm good at school, so it's like, they see how far it is to be good in school, how far it can get you in life. So talk about how, how it felt to like walk in on your first day of your last year of high school. It was an eye-opener because it was my last football season there. Everybody, all since I grew up around. So it's like a family. Like we came up from three years old to now. It's like we're finna separate after this. Right. So it's like just live it up right now yeah. if we can. So when... So like uh, being a football is that like that brotherhood has that kept you has that kept you on track to keep going or was yes. you, was it all you? Yeah, it kept me on track to keep going. Okay, it's like my motivation and my stress relief. See, because we all got those different types of uh, things that we do mm-hmm. that help us escape from stress of the day, you know. And so like I feel like with this, if you can highlight most of. Your season, like, what would be your best highlight? Probably freshman year. Yeah, freshman year. Yeah, freshman year was the best year because I walked in, I was starting for our city. It was like I was just a young kid in the school. All right. All right. So, uh, to speak to like your ninth grade self, or maybe like a ninth grader wanting to go into football or eighth grader coming out of middle school, like, how? What would you say to them now that you know what you know now? To never give up, like. It's always like at the end of the tunnel, so just keep fighting. Right. Okay. Okay, now you. All right, I'm looking at your face. All right, tell me a little bit how, you know, band and leadership kind of go hand in hand. Oh, okay. Um, Band and leadership go hand in hand. It... It gives you a sense and, and an idea of like how a team is supposed to be run. Whenever you're one band, you're supposed to be one sound. And you're supposed to be a conglomerate of all these efforts and all of the training and all the practice you've done. And you're supposed to be one unified sound. So you know what a team is supposed to look like and good execution is supposed to look like. And what goes into it. So me personally, I know I know what greatness looks like, so I'm like I I gotta expect that out of my team, so I gotta step out and be like, hey, this is what it's supposed to be. 